in the early 1990s, the Concord community was given a challenge and a gift. Concord was selected to be one of three New Hampshire communities in which families fleeing the violence and persecution in their own countries and the harsh conditions of refugee camps would be resettled. Concord community leaders came together at that time to form a task force against racism and intolerance, which continues today to celebrate the diversity in our community. In our school system, we had very limited experience with students from other countries. But we had outstanding educators who became leaders, helping us develop programs and services to better meet the needs of our new students. And our school boards have consistently supported those expanding programs. 20 years ago, the Concord School District was predominantly white. Today, we have students and families speaking 44 different languages. Our families come from Nepal, Bhutan, Rwanda, Ghana, the Congo, Pakistan, Somalia, Iran, Iraq. While these students may be in our English language learning program, many of them come to us speaking more two or three languages already. Many of our community nonprofits have embraced our new American students and their families as well. Second Start offering English classes for parents. Our Boys and Girls Club offering mentoring and after school programs and so much more. And for these extraordinary students who have gone on to college or are planning to go in the fall, the Charitable Foundation Scholarship Program has been an immense help. Yes, Concord was given a challenge, but so much more importantly, Concord was given a gift. The presence of these students and their families has enriched the lives of all of our students, our staff and faculty, the wider Concord and New Hampshire communities. So now I'm very pleased to introduce to you one of those outstanding educators, Anna Marie Di Pisquale, and three of her students, all of who have received foundation scholarships. Thank you, Chris. It is because of your leadership that we have the incredible English Language Learners Program in the Concord School District. My name is Anna Marie Di Pasquale, and I am the ELL social worker at Concord High School. Diversity in education is good for everyone. It allows the newcomers to be experts in the geography and culture class when discussing the part of the world that they are from and it allows the American student who's never traveled outside of New Hampshire to experience the culture of another person right inside the classroom. This diversity of cultures brings a diversity of ideas. How exciting to be able to have lunch with a person from Nepal, Rwanda, Ghana, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Jamaica, France, Democratic Repu Republic of Congo, right in the lunchroom at your high school. I truly have the greatest job in the world. My job is to help the new American students adjust academically and culturally to life in America. I also have the pleasure of empowering our students to get to college. One of the first students I met was Ie Delmeda. He came into my office and said, I heard you're taking kids on a college tour. Can I come? I said, let me check your grades. I was pleasantly surprised with his incredibly high grades and very challenging classes. IE went on that college tour, and as you will soon learn, had a very successful college career. Please welcome IE Delmeda. Thank you very much, Ms. D. Hi everyone, it's my pleasure to be here today. My name is Ayi Dalmeda. Um, I'm from Ghana. I came to this country when I was 15 with little to no English. 
Uh, I went to Conquer High, graduated, went on to college at the University of New Hampshire, and with the generous gift from the foundation I received over the four years at UNH, I was able to pay all my expenses that I couldn't pay from my pocket money. I graduated with honors, with honors in international affairs and psychology. I'm currently working, working as one of the American members in the New Hampshire area, helping at risk students. I plan on going to grad school to get my master's in public health. Thank you. Thank you, IE. His story is also featured in the Foundation's annual report that's at your chair. Irene is an amazing student with a phenomenal work ethic. It was very easy to write her letter of recommendation to college as she had accomplished so many things in her high school career. She had outstanding grades, excelled in tennis, a sport she never tried until her arrival in New Hampshire, and plenty of community service activities. Please welcome Irene. Hello, everyone. My name is Irene Ireme. I was born in Rwanda in 1997. I grew up with orphans of the genocide and under wars. I have come a long way from my life in Rwanda, where after school, I had to go find water in the valley, which required me to carry large large jugs of water in my head, cook with koyo, and walk there two to three miles to and from school every day. My family taught me perseverance, determination, and hard work. I, I arrived in Concord, New Hampshire at age 12. I'm currently in my second year of college at Plymouth State University, thanks to the generosity of the New Hampshire Charitable Foundation. Thank you so much for giving kids like me a chance to follow our dreams and turn them into a reality. My dreams are to finish college with a, nursing with a nursing degree and work in a hospital as a nurse. I also want to help my dad establish an organization in Rwanda that would help mothers during childbirth because I recently lost a cousin while giving birth. With the help of the New Hampshire Charitable Foundation, I know my dreams will become a reality. Again, thank you so much. Thank you, Irene. Irene's father, Clement, is here to cheer her on this evening as he is her greatest supporter. Chabi is a wonderful student who is finishing up his senior year of high school. I met Chabi when he was in the eighth grade. Chabi comes from a hardworking family that will stop at nothing to ensure an education for their children. Chabi will join his eldest sister at Plymouth State University in the fall. Please welcome Chabi. Namaste. My name is Chavi Khanal. My family and I are refugees from Nepal. And we have been here for five years. When I first arrived here, I spoke very little English, just enough to say hello and good morning to my teachers. In learning English was the biggest adjustment for me when I arrived. It is hard to believe that I am the same boy that arrived five years ago in eighth grade, very shy and afraid and I am, now I am going off to college to pursue my dream of studying business at Plymouth State University. Concord High School is a very friendly environment, and I, I was involved with Be The Change Club, our multicultural club. As I head off to PSU this fall, I am grateful for the scholarship I received from New Hampshire Charitable Foundation. My parents have done so much for me, and they cannot afford to pay for my college expenses. Thanks to this scholarship, I can afford to focus on my studies. A huge thank to Ms. Deepasquali for showing me the right path to pursue my dream. Thank you.
Thank you, Chabi. Thank you so much, Irene. Thank you so much, IE. I am beyond proud <clears throat> of all of you. I said I was not going to get choked up. <clears throat> I am beyond proud of all of you. You are an inspiration. A special thank you to the many foundation donors who established scholarship funds at the New Hampshire Charitable Foundation. You are changing the lives of so many students. Thank you.